So I am Marina Amaral, and I run the Lima Cajo and Cincinnati area. I used to be a teacher in Brazil with kids with some learning disabilities. And then after that, in, already in the US, I used to be interpreter and translator for a school in, in Mason, Ohio, close to Cincinnati. I decided to go with this because I was trying to get a new income for me, thinking about my future when I'm getting old and, uh, and doing something that I really like. Contacting new people, learning about them, new customers coming back to me and very happy to be there and uh, liking the pastries. It's, it's for me a pleasure to have the good quality of the products. If I didn't taste, if I didn't know that is a good pastry, I would never put them in a store or put to sell to try to convince the customers that it was a good thing. Well, my customers used to say that they like to come back to us because the quality of the product, the environment is really good. We do the best for the customer service. Uh, always trying to be happy, smile, and bring, in, again, the high quality of the product. Every month we try to do some, something for the community, some kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, helping with some products that we have or give you some money and you have like a giving gift cards for the people to coming back. Almost every month we were doing something. Corporate, the Lima Cajon, they are helping me always when I need since the beginning with the questions that I have, the training that I need. Uh, after I opened the, the stores with my questions, with something that was not so clear for me. I, I don't have any problem at all. Always an email or a texting, I have the answers as soon as possible, so it's working very well. My training was awesome. I, I really love it. I was missing this part of the training. Uh, it was very uh, different, and I learned a lot. I had the good people around, and I was very uh, confident to have my store after the training, I think was good. The biggest challenge for me, I think, was just like to try the new schedule, being a single mom and help, helping my kid at school, have to work at, school, at the store. Everything together was kind of a little tough for me, but I am surviving. And I have a good manager with me and she helped me a lot during the time that I cannot be there. To be successful as a franchisee at Le Macarron, I think you have to, to have the passion, first of all. I think is most important thing. And knowing a little about business, knowing a little bit or try to learn about business and have a good support to, to help you. Let's say the next five, 10 years, maybe I can think about a kiosk also, but I do like the idea of the store because now I, I know what I need inside the store. I learned what is important and what is not. So going for the second one, I think we much be easier. So just, I have the money for that. <laughs> My best memory about this was the first day when I opened. It was kind of, everybody was waiting for this for before Thanksgiving and we opened after Christmas. And people was like in lines to, to get some macaron to try for the first time. That's just, it was amazing for me.